Put to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. OK, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. That's a song. Uh, <laughs> I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because right she's too damn ill. Quicker. So I don't go down there no more. But there's a blue horse laying outside her door. <laughs> I had a girl in Valley's time. She likes to drink that fancy wine. Blue in her hat with two feet tall. Crack in her face, pay for it all. I had a girl in Fairyville. Can't get her here because she won't stay sick. Look at that coach. He's all over the place. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. I'm sure he can handle it. Yeah. Why didn't you help that poor man? Well, lumbago. It's really serious. It can be deadly. What about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? A fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What's the problem here? All right. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I...